Hello friends, in this video I will modify this uh, Genius 5.1 uh, subwoofer from uh, normal input to Bluetooth. I will use this module from China. First of all, I will tell you the story of this project. I got a system like this from a long time ago and I uh, use this for my phone and uh, for my TV. And it's uh, very annoying to move the cable from uh, TV and from phone. And uh, my TV doesn't have uh, audio output connector and that's why I need uh, Bluetooth. This module is very cheap. It's only one dollar in China, something like this. So let's begin. First of all, I will uh, take this apart. So that's the inside of my genius. I forgot to tell you, this is a 5.0 generation Bluetooth, needs a 5 volts supply voltage and this is the output. I will mount everything inside. First of all, I have to find a 5 volts supply voltage. And after that, I will uh, put this uh, output to one of these inputs. First of all, let's find the 5 volts. This is on. Let's turn this on. I take a ground from here. And let's check every pin of these two connectors. 19 volts, 5 volts. There are a lot of 5 volts here. I think the main 5 volt is here because it comes from uh, the main PCB. To be sure, I will check this on the main PCB. This is fourth pin. To be sure that this is the output, I will take this connector out. Now let's see if we still have 5 volts. So it seems this is not the main 5 volts. So it seems that we have 5 volts here only when uh, it's powered on. So I mounted this module here and I made all the connections for supply. I put to 5 volts standby voltage and only when uh, speaker is power on we have here 5 volts when it's powered off we don't have and these are the outputs uh, of the bluetooth module and I connect it here to one of the input now let's make some test let's put everything together Let's verify the voltages. Now it's off. We don't have. Let's turn on. As you can see, the LED is blinking. But there is a problem because the voltage is not uh, stable enough. As you can see, the current is not big enough for this module so I have to find another solution because you can hear the noise in the speaker so I studied the schematic to see why it's not working and I see that this uh, 5 volts pin it's not uh, 5 volt supply voltage, it's standby signal, it's output from a microcontroller and it's a signal, not a power voltage. And that's why it gives uh, a small current. 
will not power up this module. And uh, to solve this dilemma, I found the simplest solution. So, we have this uh, 5 volts input signal. It's 5 volts when this is power on and it, it is 0 volts when it's power off. I use this 8 volt power supply and here we have a supply voltage for this module. So I need to power up this module only when we have a power on and when it's power off will be off. To disconnect from the device when you power off the speaker. You can use any, any NPN transistor. I use D1302. This is the pin configuration and uh, I put here. So we have collector to the 8 volts, emitter to the output and the base on the signal and this voltage acts like a stabilizer and here we have 4.4 volts and we have the current from here not from the base now let's see if it's working so i found 8 volts exactly near this standby pin let's power this on now it's in off. Let's measure all the pins. We have standby voltage 0 volts. This is 8 volts supply voltage. And this is the Bluetooth module. Now it's power on. You see the LED is blinking. Now let's measure the voltage. Here we have we have 5 volts standby voltage. We have 4.3 volts power supply. I don't know where it comes. This uh, annoying sound. I will put the input to the Bluetooth. So I have to find another solution. This is not working. Now let's see why this simplest solution doesn't work. Even the voltages are good, but the problem is with the power consumption. Let's put the oscilloscope to the 8 volts voltage supply from the supply of the microcontrollers. Now let's turn this on. Now it's uh, on, but the uh, standby it's off. Let's power from the... This uh, is the voltage when this module is not uh, turned on and when I will uh, power on the speaker then uh, standby voltage will power on this module I hope that you can hear it's a lot of noise in the speakers and you can see a lot of spikes because uh, this module drag a lot of current and uh, this power rail cannot uh, supply this uh, current turn these input signals off and now it's connected only ground and the power supply. Now let's try another approach. I will use uh, this uh, module 
it's from a phone charger like this can uh, support uh, 24 voltage input and output 5 volts i will connect this to the 20, vo 20 volts uh, rail now we don't have power on and off for bluetooth receiver let's make some test first of all i connected the oscilloscope to the 20 volts power rail let's measure the voltages first of all this is 20 volts input now let's measure the output 5 volts output voltages are good now let's turn the speaker on as you can hear and as you can see there is a lot of noise so i cannot use this solution now this uh, project is uh, ready here you can see it's the bluetooth module here it's the power supply module I will put the schematic. Those are the connection, the ground, the standby and the plus wires to the module. And that brown wire is the input 8 volts. You also will see the schematic of the point where I uh, connected this wire. So this is the final shape. I worked uh, this uh, much more than I expected because I expected it to be a simple job, 5 minutes job, but took me few days of test and experiment. Now you can do this uh, for yourself. But this solution is suitable only for exact type of speaker. Exact, exact type what I have here. On other uh, speakers, you have to make your own solution. Now I will tell you what I learned from this project. First of all, you have to put the ground of this uh, module closer to the power ground and closer to the signal ground to avoid the uh, ground loop. Ground loop is a noise of high frequency over the signal. It's very, very annoying. Once you solve the ground loop it's ideal to power this module only when the speaker is on and when you put the speaker off we'll disconnect this module and we'll disconnect from your phone the bluetooth so you don't have to manually put on and off the bluetooth and third this small module has a, a high peak of current consumption and you remember my first attempt when this uh, tried to connect there was a there was a drop of voltage in this sound processor and was like a peak in the speaker so uh, you have to supply this uh, at least uh, 0 0.5 amps and uh, don't make any interference with power supply of sound processor they are very sensitive and any problem on power supply on this uh, sound processor it's here like a sound in a speaker now I will make a final test 
before I put everything together. Now the speaker is on, but it's uh, off from standby. And you can see there is no uh, power LED. Let's power on from standby. When I power on from standby, you can see power LED. And uh, there is no noise in the speaker, like before. Now let's connect to Bluetooth. I have to play no copyright music. I forgot to put set the input on the Bluetooth. Now the input is set to the Bluetooth. It's a very good sound quality. Now I will put uh, everything back to make the final test. Now let's make the test. Let's turn the speaker on. There is no noise. Now let's connect to the Bluetooth. Now let's play the music. I see a problem. When I put the volume to minimum, disconnect the phone from the Bluetooth. I believe when I put the volume to the minimum, it goes on standby mode. And where it's on standby mode, will uh, cut the supply of the Bluetooth. And why? That's why. Uh, but if I don't go to the zero, when I reach to the minimum, it's uh, pausing the music because it's disconnected the Bluetooth receiver. But if I can put the minimum from here, it's not a problem. So you have to take care if you put the volume to the minimum to play the music again from here. The sound is very good, but now I am using only one satellite. With second satellite, it's more uh, pleasant sound. If you made it through here, please give a big like. And if you have any questions, please put it in a comment. You want to see other videos like this, you can uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.